everybody. We've been gone for a while, but we're back. And we thank you for joining us today. So, Mache, please tell me, <laughs> what are we talking about today? Well, the first thing I want to touch on is something that has been in the news this week um, about Demi Lovato. Yes. I'm a huge fan of her. She did the song Sorry Not Sorry, which became my anthem last year. I love that freaking song. Okay. <laughs> I know you do. Mm -hmm. okay. So anyway, the problem is that um, Demi Lovato is constantly struggling with the drug addiction. Mm -hmm. um, she's a survivor of it. You know, she's been recovering from it for years. But as everybody knows. Addictions are hard to be. Once you are an addict, you're always an addict. You're always struggling to fight, you know, that disease. And lately in the news, people have been on the fence. I guess some people are saying they're disappointed in her because she's a role model. Some people are really mad at her. And in her defense, like I said, everyone has something that they're struggling with. Um, she's not perfect by any means. When no, neither is anybody else. She's going to struggle with this for the rest of her life and right. it's not fair to judge her on that i love her well and, and i'm sorry that she's going through this i wish her the best <laughs> my thing is we're all addicts of something mm -hmm. if it's not drugs alcohol abuse right it's eating shopping cussing drinking Person. lying <laughs> it is. um procrastination that's one too for me <laughs> and so we're all a, 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 a addict of something. So for the people who want to condemn her for slipping back into her old ways, what about your ways? Right. Before I can condemn you, what what am I doing with my issues? What's the quote? Yeah. He without sin, sin cast, cast the first, first, stone. first stone. Yeah. And I can't. I, I'm around dirt. I'm on a dirt road because <laughs> there's no way that I can condemn somebody of what what their wrong is but i my wrong is just as wrong you know unfortunately people put a i said classification for wrong right but wrong is wrong overeating wrong. and killing guess what in in the bible it's the same thing <laughs> they try to justify their yeah, wrong i yeah, guess justification like one is worse than the other and that's right. not really true <laughs> it's not you know justification of wrong it does not make you right Right. So it, I mean, it is sad. I, we're gonna pray that yet this addiction that she fell into again, that she comes out. Right. Because we all can conquer anything that we go through. Right, exactly. And we're wishing her the very best. Yes. Her recovery. I love you, Demi. Get it together, girl. I want the next song. <laughs> <laughs> I need my new anthem. Okay. Okay. I'm just saying. Okay. Okay. We're back again. Thank you for tuning in. So, Mache, we have another hot topic today. <laughs> You're so silly. <laughs> so, so, so yeah, tell me. So, something we wanted to touch on is something I see on social media every day. And I find it hilarious, some of the views that people have. Is it ever okay to be the other woman? For all you scandal people that love Olivia Pope, I'm just saying. So, <laughs> well, you know what? <laughs> Olivia Pope, Pope gets paid. Okay, in the script. Right. So her being the other woman, she's getting paid and it's scripted out. And guess what? She literally goes home to her husband. Man, he man, knows about kids. it. So you know that's you know your fa your fantasy versus reality. Right. Um, I'm not gonna lie. I was the other woman at one time. Now and thank God it was when I was younger. But when I look at it, I was. I was stupid yeah, and there's, there's no other way to say it I was stupid and I'm so glad that I realized it took me a little while so even if you're out there and you're the other woman realize that you will never be number one you might not even be number two you might come in at number ten <laughs> maybe here's my thing I love it because other women love to say um, he'll leave his situation for me and while that does happen every, what, <laughs> once in a while, that's the exception to, to the, the rule. rule. It is not the normal. Don't get caught up in it. Don't think you're going to be the exception. You might be the exception, but more than likely nine you're times not. out of ten, and 99 if point and if you're the, the time. exception, <laughs> let's say he le le left his wife for you. Guess what? Would you really want him? He will leave you for somebody else. Yeah. So... 
Yeah. Although we'd we'll love to hear from you. You know, if you're the other woman and it worked out, good for you. For the yes. ones that are struggling with it right now, um, I don't think it's okay. But I don't know the situations. I'm not going to judge either way. I just... I have a question. So, like, I just think it's bad. Yeah. So if you are the other woman and it did work out for you and y'all and you are together, question is, do you trust him? Can he go to the store without you calling 500 times? Can he hang out with his buddies without you thinking he's with the other woman? So we'd love to hear. We'd love to hear from you. Um, the fact, do you trust him now? Yeah, now. trust is hard enough without all these extra yeah. features. Oh, and goodness. you know he's not being faithful. He has to live with another person. They have to be getting it in. I'm sorry, they sleep together. That's yeah. his wife or oh, whoever. Yeah. And don't listen to <laughs> he not doing it. He is. Don't yeah. lie to yourself. Lies they tell. Don't lie to yourself. Jesus. Don't lie to yourself because I, be, I don't do it. Yeah. I wish the, I wish somebody would try to holler at my dude. Girl, you see the cycle come out. Believe the books boo-boos, believe the books, okay? So, <laughs> you know, as a married woman, I say, shit, you want them, take them, okay? You will return them. That's true, too. That's true, too, because if you can be taken, if he can be taken, let him go. Let him go. Let him go, but there's that. always the trust issue. Like you said, it takes Hard so enough. much to build trust, and trust can be destroyed in, in, a, minute, uh, in a matter of seconds. Years of trust can be destroyed in a matter of seconds. So just always remember, if you can't trust him, he's not the one to be with. Yeah, because even if he's even if you're not the other one, <laughs> right? Because dating, you know, finding love and dating in today's society with oh. the technology is already hard enough. It's way harder than it was Years back in the day, yeah. and, and that's when you couldn't trust the dude that was around the corner. It, exactly. Now <laughs> <that's laughs> we got to take and you still couldn't trust them. This dude in right. other states, it seemed too much. Right, and, and and technology has definitely led people astray. Yes. Um, because you find all type of people you wouldn't have found before. Exactly. You have access. And then, oh, and then the people who catfish people. That's hilarious. I've never really been, a, I don't really know too much about catfishing. Like, what is that? So catfish, <laughs> I mean, I really don't know. I don't I've seen it. <laughs> I, I actually, uh, my son just told me about a guy who catfished somebody. Um, oh. And it just came out. Like, I but catfishing concept. is, um, let's say I portrayed myself as a 25-year-old, 130-pound blonde white woman. Okay. Okay, as you, as you see. <laughs> that's, that's silly. That's not my description. <laughs> um, so, and, and we're going on at, at me being ident pretty much ad identity theft. Okay. So, when we decide we're going to meet up and he he's looking for this 25 year old 120 so 20 pictures and stuff yes. like that. Okay. Blonde, white woman. <laughs> when he see me, what? Not the, who it is. Right. So, <laughs> that's what, that's Catfishing. Oh, okay. Um, and they even have a show about it. Uh, I ain't it, never seen. Oh, yeah. I didn't know. I don't know. I've catfish. seen it <laughs> a so few times. Okay. Um, but it's like you feel sorry for the person who got catfished oh, because don't of catfish the, me. I don't like it. The <laughs> era of technology. Right. We, and then once again, we fall into this uh, fantasy versus reality. And okay. rea the reality is, reality shows aren't real. Okay, I just want to put that scripted. out there. I got um, asked to write for one. They're scripted. Yes. <laughs> they put you in a... Well, not necessarily. What they do is they set up a scenario and then put you in it. You know what I mean? Right. So they don't write your lines for you, per se. They just set up the scene for you and then that's so, how the drama takes place. Right. So don't <laughs> don't drop me in the middle of a cat fight. And like, oh, exactly. I'm not going so. to say anything or do anything or try to break it up or what have you. Yeah. So, you know, our reality, today's reality, um, is sad yeah. because it's built on fantasy. Right. I agree. So, and that's a really difficult standard to live up to. It's impossible. It's, it's impossible standards for everybody involved. So you got to take people where they at, okay? Yes. Because I think this new generation is on some halt. No, no offense. <laughs> but I, I feel like there's an entitlement issue uh, going on. Like they think they don't have to work for anything. Like right. everything, everything is, is just instantaneous. Easy. You just make a lot of money somehow. And, right. and you live this fantastic life. Yeah. And I'm just like, 
It doesn't I mean, it's work. possible, but you gotta work. Right. And, <laughs> so and that's now. the thing. And, and unfortunately, uh, the young younger generation, they don't believe in hard work. They don't no. believe in waking up early, going to sleep late. Not all of you. I'm not, not generalizing. No, not everybody. Cause there, and there are quite a few who do well, but you look at the, the videos. Majority. Yeah, yeah, you look at the videos and you see where particular people are at this point. Yes. Do they tell you when they slept on somebody else's floor, they didn't eat for days, right. they were homeless, um, they didn't have enough money to even go to McDonald's. Um, well, we live in a world of instant gratification. Yeah, so, you know, people can get rich from Instagram, YouTube, yeah, whatever. But, they can but they're still in your life before. <laughs> right, what, right. What, give me your backstory. And, but give me your real backstory, and then I can respect you more. Right. Okay. Because I remember starting my grind. Okay. It, it, I mean, and literally, I remember <laughs> walking it, around in snowstorms, <laughs> doing drive-by right. book deliveries, like selling was, books out the trunk. I, it was serious. Okay. <laughs> it like really stuff was. don't happen overnight. <laughs> it, 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 it's a, it, it's a long, hard road, hustle. but <laughs> you appreciate it. And when people give you stuff. You don't appreciate it as much right. as when you earn it. Right. And when I you earn it, it's just like you can sit back and be like, first of all, you sit back I and, and thank, <laughs> thank God yep. that he's giving you the opportunities. But secondly, yes, he gave me the opportunity and I thank him for sending me down certain roads. Right. So I just, yeah, to me, the younger generation, because I am of the older generation, but I'm in the middle. Yeah, I'm the, old, I'm the older generation, but I just really feel as if they, today's era of technology leaves too much yes. of openness. Yes, and I really think you should um, try to wean yourself off of it, honestly. I really yeah. think you should shut it down every now and then. I really try to go without being on social media. I still read books, yes. hang with your friends, put the phone away. Like, hmm. Yes, and when you went to, a perfect example, if you're out... And you can't put your phone down to enjoy some one-on-one -on -one conversation, then there's a problem. Right, right. There's a problem. It's an addiction, and you got to fix that. Right. <laughs> you need to commune with one another, yeah. get some conversation, um, because playing games and just reading comments or just waiting for someone to like you right. do the likes on um like i know somebody who really cares about how many likes they get and i'm just like why does it matter what world are we oh, wow. it's just weird it's weird because i don't care i mean i'm happy for people that do talk to me don't get me wrong online and stuff and i'm happy to engage with people who read or support my work and right. stuff like that but I don't care one person like it. If I post it, I wanted to, and that's the right. end of it. <laughs> I post it for my self gratification. Right. Okay, if it helps somebody, that works perfectly. And if not, okay, then all right. Okay. But but I've never cared if people thought too much, so yeah, that's probably why. But I think I think technology has the younger generation has created that. I don't know if they necessarily that's were their acceptance. that way. Yeah, I feel like they were kind of brought into that. You know what I mean? Because it goes out to the entire world. It, you yes. know, it kind of makes it hard not to want everyone to like you and stuff but like that. Everybody that likes you is not for you. Yeah, sure. So <laughs> I ra I rather I rather have five that's for me than a thousand that's liking me. Yeah, that's my yeah. My friends are small. It ain't getting no bigger. Yeah, I have the no same friends. friends. They see all the same people at all my functions. It's the same people all it, the time. It, I mean, it, I know they probably talk to each other. It really. But the thing about it is, <laughs> because our friend circle is small, mm -hmm. because we are actually in each other's friend circle, <laughs> right? We are. So, um, it is small, but it's truthful, right? Because we we bring things to the group. That with the <clears throat> excuse me. If I, I call Michelle and be like, tell me if I'm right or wrong. And she starts off with, you're probably wrong. <laughs> right. But the thing about it is, I know honesty will come out of the conversation. Right. Not just, oh, you're right. No, no, no. Yeah, we don't have friends like that. I don't have yes friends. No. My friends are very blunt. Very Everybody blunt. tells the truth. And, yes. <laughs> and you need that. You need that kind of circle. I believe in it. Because <laughs> true story. So one of our friends. <laughs> one of our friends. 
her husband gave her a gift card, and this friend will exactly know who I'm talking about, to Tiffany's. Okay. And she was like, he should have bought me something for Tiffany's. I said, shut up. I don't remember which friend, You but know. I remember the story. So <laughs> shut up. Because you have a husband, might not know what you want, but he went to Tiffany's. To make Please sure you get exactly what you wanted. And at this particular time, <laughs> this is before I got married, I couldn't even find a date to take me to Ruby Tuesday. So I was telling her, shut up. Oh, and MG. Yes. That brought up a whole nother story. Did you hear about the girl who got 20 boyfriends to buy her iPhones and then she cashed in on the iPhones and bought a house? She used their, that money as a down payment on her house? Well, if, if that chick ain't a genius... I, I can't know. get one person to buy me. I buy my own iPhones, just to be clear. <laughs> I, get, I get refurbished iPhones, so. I buy my iPhones, the family iPhones. I'm just saying, I ain't, ain't nobody ever bought me one. Yeah, I, I, would, I, would, I would like an iPhone. <laughs> the new one. I would, I would like a new one. The new all one, the eight, are old the ten, you know, whatever. Mine is a seven plus but, right now. Okay, so what? <laughs> okay, it's genius in one way, but... How much did she have to give up herself? And that's another thing. I'm too much of a hustler to depend on somebody to do it for me. So, yeah, I'm not. But she, you know, you don't know her circumstances exactly. or what was going on. No judgment zone. No judgment. She's probably thinking outside the box. How can I do this? What if making a, there was no hustle for her where she was making enough to ever get to that? You know what I mean? Right. And in her mind, oh, well, I know these 20 people and boom, we're going to make this happen. Okay. Well, I'm not mad at the creativity. Yeah, okay, no, I wish somebody had put down the down payment on my house. I'm just saying. Okay. Hello. <laughs> Without going into my bank account. But you know it is what it is. Here right. we are. <laughs> but it also goes to show you that iPhones cost too dang much. Right. 20 of them. She, 20 I think of she came out with about $17,000. A little over $17,000. That's a lot. Not bad, chick. Not bad. I'm not judging. Good for you. Not judging at she all. She didn't have to take out a loan. Or nothing. Or nothing. <laughs> oh, no, not for that down payment. To, uh, Apple does so many incredible things. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, who can honestly say Apple helped pay for my house? No, it's not working for Apple. <laughs> well, I, let me say this: except the Apple employees, they no <laughs> <right>. <laughs> That's hilarious. Hello, we are back again. Now, today we want to focus on <laughs> focusing on your happy. Because, unfortunately, today in the world of depression, um, people committing suicide, just unhappy people, we need to focus on what makes us happy. And it can be the very little things. Taking a bath can mm -hmm. actually calm you down and it, it centers you. And it can make you happy. Uh, a glass of wine, not an alcoholic, but a nice glass of wine. I have quite a few. Took out the bottle, whatever. Yes. Um, <laughs> then there's, there's so many things for women. We have to make sure that we take care of ourselves because we're the nurturers, and we we take care of everybody around us, even when we don't really realize that we're realize that we. We carry so much. Yeah. If you you're, if you're in a relationship, you're married, your children. And the um, relationships will drain you. Oh, wow. Jesus, it does. It does. But <laughs> you have to stay, mentally stay um, clear, spiritually, financially, and just those oh, things. I'm so glad you touched on financial. Oh. Why are we talk about focusing on your happy? This is what I want to say because I know I love. <laughs> And I'm not trying to hurt no feelings. <laughs> but sometimes I feel like women want to be taken care of too much. Not all women. There are a lot of strong, independent women. And I'm not coming for y'all. What I'm saying is, it is a lot of them who do expect. Yes. And my thing is, if you weren't focused on that, and you had your own stuff going on, your own income coming in. Your own happy. You got your own everything. Your <laughs> own happy. Like, seriously, when I started focusing, I stopped and tell y'all a story. I started focusing on my happy last year because I, I got, I don't know, I think it was something about turning the next age or something. I don't know what happened. But at that point, I was like, I can no longer do anything that doesn't make me happy anymore. For Including anybody. people. He, yeah, it doesn't matter who it is. Yes. I, I don't care. Yes. If you mess with my happy, I can no longer have you in my life. And that's a choice I made. Yes. But making that choice changed my whole life. 
And I'm happy all the time now. I'm like, you ain't messing with my habit. Okay, either you fit or you don't. It's cool with me. Keep it pushing. But I also have all my own stuff. I don't depend on nobody right. for my stuff. I work really hard. I will hustle all to get day, what I want. Day. If I can't get it right now, I'll get it later. Right. <laughs> but I will get I, it. I'm a you know what I mean? I'm it. a hustle to get it. Yeah. If I can't afford it, I can't afford it. Like, whatever. But I just think it would be nice if more women focused on that. And I'm really proud of the ones that do, you know, Because there's so thing, many of us that, that do. do. Yeah, it's so um, many strong women. I love to see it. I love to see women in charge doing their thing. Right. And and not belittling our men uh, in our lives oh, that no. support us. Because some of us, are we're fortunate to have our husbands and boyfriends that support and I, I have to give a huge shout out to my husband every time I do have some hair brain <laughs> he's like alright babe if that's what you want to do you know we love and I'd be like, yes he's moving stuff trying to fix stuff try, hey let's do it because this is what you want to do so women who have that supportive um, men or women whoever your mate is just make sure you, when you're in your hustle mode, don't forget them. Appreciate. Or definitely appreciate them. them. So, but just also just thank, thank them for always being there. Yeah. Because they don't have to. They don't have to. Because they can be. make it harder for your hustle. Mm -hmm. And for those who make it easier, I give a shout out. Love you, babe. <laughs> so thank silly. you. Um, but the women, we, luckily there's no women in our circle that even come close to this but we know some mm -hmm. where they feel as if some man should take care of them just because they were born with a vagina yeah that doesn't work or they're beautiful and i think all women are beautiful yes but, but i just get up and go to work do some stuff or do figure something. out your hustle be yeah. the next entrepreneur be good at whatever it is you want to be good at do Except that. just laying on your back and thinking somebody should give you some money. Hey, some of them good at that too. I mean, if that's your hustle, you be the best at your hustle. This is no judgment zone. I mean, that's not my hustle. Okay. But, you yeah. know, whatever works for you. Because but... I don't have time for that. <laughs> okay. But, um, but just don't think entitlement. Right. Just don't think that somebody should do for you just because you breathe. Because that's not the way it works. And I just feel like it, um, more of us would be happy if we had our own stuff. If you're not yes. dependent on somebody, you don't have to stay in some of these bad situations. Exactly. That's what I'm leaning towards. You know, I know a lot of people in very bad situations that they can't get out of because they don't have their own stuff. So right. you depend on this person to provide for you. And, that, and that's and, better than trying to figure it out on your own. Exactly. Them. So and that um also touches on and we're gonna come back with more information and uh websites and numbers for domestic violence. Right. Uh, I do know you can contact uh, PG. Just go on their website. PG, That's in Maryland. Yeah, pgcounty.com uh, if you need shelters and um, just to get out immediately for our domestic violence. But we'll uh, come back with a national women. hotline. Yeah, we're going to come back yeah. with, we're going to do a, actually a whole segment on uh, domestic violence because of the simple fact we want you to get out um, and we want you to be and safe. And I understand as a survivor of it what you're going through so we definitely want to help yes definitely, definitely. You can definitely. get out of bed if you want to because you have so much more in you but we're going to go back to focusing on your happy yes so um i love to shop but i also know She's that always love to shop since yes I but i also know <laughs> that i love to live and have a good credit score so i <laughs> I, what? Yes. <laughs> what does the credit score have to do with anything? So if I shop too much and I can't afford, let's oh, say, if your I credit card, card and Cash. I can't afford to pay it back, um, and then there's late payments and what have you. We don't. I don't have time for I that. Cash for everything, almost. Yeah, my well, credit card is emergency. Well, and I, I, I use my credit cards as uh, American Express. So I was like, oh, yeah, I, I can't afford to pay all this off next month, so I can't get it. But, you know, shopping, um, I like to belly dance, and I'm, I'm getting ready to do yoga. Um, okay. Love Stephanie yoga. Walker, she is actually, she doesn't know it as of yet, but she's going to teach me. Um, yes, Hi, yes, Stephanie. Stephanie. <laughs> I think it's, um, I'll get her. Her, the name of her company. She's gonna actually 
be teaching me yoga, yoga, yoga. Oh, we should invite her on and do she, some yoga sessions. Yeah, that would be nice. Yeah, that would be fun. Yeah. Um, but you're happy. It's it's the little things. Going to sleep early. It's your happy. Come at home. Let me tell you something. Going to my house when it's nice and quiet is my happy. I love it. I love my quiet space. It's like serenity. It's very serene. Yes. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. yes. <laughs> my fan. And I'm, you know, in my happy, I love being around uh, my nieces and nephews because I have a lot of them. And being and borrowed around, ones. Yeah, and borrowed ones. And I love them all. <laughs> but being around them, I, that does put me in a happy place sometimes. Because some, we love, um, we do something annual every year. We yes. have our women's, it's almost like a, our women's weekend retreat kind of. I don't know. Yes. We do it every year. We love it. And it's, a lot and of we us. sit in, in, in having friends that are still truthful in our <laughs> in our craziness. We sit down, we talk, we laugh, we, we joke time. with one another. Um, and I, we love we love to be in that space. Yeah, I love being that. in the space of our fellow sisters who wants, we we don't do judgment zones. And they all want the best for you. It's yes, just a really good. They're supportive. They, I mean, what, whatever we do, as long as we're not breaking the law, they're going to support us. Because so. some of them be borderline. Yeah, some of them borderline. Like my LL, I'm calling you out, boo. You're yeah, a little she, feisty. Y'all be a little nervous. We be on the border sometimes. Yeah, but you know, but, that's my boo. But we also, <laughs> and for, you know, I bail around every for time. For times like that, we also do have a community bail fund. Uh, <laughs> you just never know. You never know with this group. You just don't know. Yes. Yeah, you just, <laughs> <laughs> and you know what you I don't I don't care about you guys but I have the best crew ever. ever. I wouldn't trade none of them. Yes. The Even everybody's some craziness. craziness. Yeah. I wouldn't trade none of them. Yeah. <laughs> so but finding your happy is extremely important because of the simple fact if you don't find your happy, you will find yourself having a nervous breakdown. Because we well, you're too busy making everybody else happy, so you're not focusing on you at all. Right, which creates the nervous. In which, now. which before you know it, you you you're broke down instead of trying to build everybody else. So sometimes you have to step away and be like, I can't, I can't do this. It's okay to say no. Yeah. As much as I love being around doing, sometimes I have to remove myself and say, you know what. I can't. I need some rest. So that is a huge, huge part of making us happy. Just breathing, but just a few minutes by yourself. Yeah, I love. I'm an introvert. I love my alone time. I don't like talking on the phone anymore. Maybe when I'm driving, I'll talk to you then because I'm driving. I ain't got nothing to do. But I don't like talking on the phone at home. That's my that's my serene space. I get my bottle, my glass, whatever. I'm just saying. Yes. And then <laughs> I might read a book, I might write a book, whatever, you know. <laughs> I, well, and I know my, one of my things, my happy things is sleeping. <laughs> so You can never get too much sleep, I think. I don't get enough you of it. So. You can't. Um, <laughs> but just, just remember to step back and do something for yourself. Because if you don't do something for yourself and you're always doing for others, you're going to eventually burn out. And a burnt out you is no good for anyone. No, that's never a good thing. No. So definitely focus on your happy. We hope we bring you happiness. Peace and blessings. Peace and blessings. Whatever that was. Bye. <laughs> Peace and blessings. <laughs>